Guys, holy shit, breaking news. Um, I can't even get these uh, reactions out today or anything I wanted to do to death battle. But maybe this is good because this is the new content I was looking for. I got to report on this, guys, because this is breaking news here. And I'm going to just go ahead and read it to you. Daniel Craig out as James Bond turns down a 68 million pound two film deal. Holy shit. Like that that's crazy. So this is coming out of the East Coast MovieGuys.com and they are reporting here that James Bond is dead. <laughs> so no, they gotta uh, so what they're saying here is this is coming from um, the East Coast MovieGuys.com, but the, uh, the, they're reporting from the Daily Mail. M A I L. Actor James, uh, actor Daniel Craig is reportedly out as 007, aka James Bond, after four films. The last one, of course, as some of you know, was Spectre, which kind of had mixed reviews. I actually liked it, but I was also very bored of that movie at the same time. So, what is that noise? Okay. Um, my desk is falling apart. So now, here's the disclaimer. We, now, we must mention that since this is being reported first by Daily Mail, a site which has been wrong on stories in pe the past before, there is a possibility that this to the story is total bullshit. But hopefully we can get some more sources to back it up later, uh, sooner than later. Somebody's texting me. Until then, since everybody is going to run with this story no matter what, here we go. Craig has apparently turned down a 68 million pound deal, which is the equivalent of 146 million dollars, US dollars, from MGM Studio, which would have seen the actor return for two more Bond films. Get the details below. Here's the details below. He has played Bond since 2000 and five and helped bank well over two billion pounds in box office revenue helping ease MGM's bankruptcy issues. Insider said Craig turned down a 68 million pound offer uh, from MGM Studios to return to Bomb for two more films following last year's hit Spectre. The sum included endorsements, profit shares, and a role for him working as co-producer. Huh. Huh. That's interesting. Uh, one LA f film source said Daniel is done pure and simple. He told Top Brass at MGM after Spectre. They threw huge money uh, amounts of money at him, but it just wasn't what he wanted. He added, he had told people after shooting that this would be his final outing, but the film company still felt that he could come around after Spectre if he was offered a money deal. One source said that executives have finally agreed to let the actor go after growing tired of his criticism of the franchise. <laughs> Craig, 48, told interviews that last year he would rather slash my own wrists than agree to another Bond film. Oh my god. So sounds crazy, right? That is a lot of money Craig is leaving on the table and is really surprising to me considering that he doesn't really appear in that many films. That is true. He tried his hand with the girl with the dragon tattoo. I fucking love that movie. That shit was so fucking dope. And I really wanted um, the director, I'm forgetting his name, Spencer? Spencer? Maybe David Spencer? I really wanted him to do a Batman movie. Fuck. Because at that time, we everybody was really thinking he would uh, helm a Batman movie. But it was no huge success, the girl with the dragon tattoo. It will be interesting to see what he does next. Okay, so, and of course, it'll blah, blah, blah. I, I just, it kind of strikes me, it's a little sad, but at the same time, if, there, if this is true, because we'll kind of put this under a side rumor situation, if this is true, my commentary on this is well i mean well done though well done because for me i guess for me he was the most realistic bond that i could get into like he was actually i actually really liked his take on it because the and you know don't don't crucify me on this one the first bond movie i ever saw was actually goldeneye <laughs> 
as a kid. When I was a fucking kid, right? So GoldenEye was the first Bond movie I saw, and I, even though I liked GoldenEye, I liked the hell out of it with fucking um, Jean Grey killing people after she fucks them, chokes them. Them. Anyways, um, even though I liked that movie a lot, um, as time progressed, I was like, okay, this is getting kind of hokey and like a little bit corny. And I went back and I watched Thunderball and uh, a, a few others, and I. I think for that time period it was fine, but for me I was just like, whatever on this. So when I ended up watching Casino Royale uh, in this new Bond, I kind of liked this kind of stiff, he didn't give a shit, he was just ready to fucking kill people, really rough around the edges type of deal, and I liked uh, the way what Daniel Craig brought to the table, and for me, it actually made me more of a Bond fan, at least with this series, especially after Skyfall came out. I didn't really like Skyfall when I first saw it because I was kind of frustrated and upset about how much they were homaging uh, and copying, homaging, copying The Dark Knight. But I know the director was really influenced by it, but I just didn't like the whole plot point being the same as uh, The Dark Knight, with uh, the villain getting captured, and it was almost, yeah. But at the same time, it did kind of make Bond really dope to kind of see him sort of like as Batman. So, uh, I'm, a, I'm a bit disappointed because I actually really wanted to enjoy Spectre more than the Spectre it was, no pun intended, but it just felt like a very last minute ridden sort of story where it was supposed to be this epic climax to all the other three films but it really didn't pan out that way and it kind of just had this for me it just was kind of like bleh but at the same time the cinematography the direction the opening shot was something i had never seen in uh before and so there were points for that so i uh but i, I just watching it in the movies I was just kind of checking my watch and I was like, how many times can they do it? Aside from all that, I wanted, I would love to see Daniel Craig continue as a Bond uh, character. Uh, but if he's done, I understand he's done. I mean, I can understand where the actor gets frustrations here with the franchise. Uh, I hope it's not true, but if it is, I just wanted to go on record and saying thank you, Daniel Craig, for all your work. I really appreciate actually what you did with the Bond character. Um, if it really comes to the point where we have to look for a new Bond, I don't really want to be part of that whole hype and talking about the rumors that I, we already saw what happened with uh, the whole who's the new Batman and I don't, I don't need to go through all this when MGM probably already has someone in mind already at this point. Uh, yeah. But thank you Daniel Craig, I appreciate it. Um, you did a, I think you did one of the best jobs and for, for me personally will go down as one of the best, if not the best, the most relatable uh, Bond out there, so. That's it, guys. Red Dread Nation, stand up, speak up. Let me know what you guys think about this situation. Do you think it's true? Is, it, is this a done deal? Is Daniel Craig finished? What else should he do next, really? He can't be a stormtrooper. Or could he? Hmm. Wait a second. Is Does Daniel Craig have a secret role in the next Star Wars movie? A Sith Lord, perhaps? Hmm. That would be interesting. All right, guys, I'm out. Peace. One thing's for sure, I know my lovely girl Saya is going to be very, very disappointed. Bummer. She loves James Bond. Bond. James Bond. Yes. Yes, you love James Bond. Saya, what's, what is your inspiration for learning English? Why do you want to learn English? Because I want to understand very well James Bond English. She can't understand Daniel Craig. Here's your keen lily. Shake it over rice and then add a thin slice of lemon peel. Not exactly Christmas, is it? Cisco. In many ways, you've shown me what it's like to have a son. <laughs> Fuck, that's scary. Yep, that's the one. Here you go.